hello friends welcome back uh, to the channel so today we are going to take the backup of a postgresql database and restore it back to another database as it was requested by most of you uh, and you want it to work along with me so today we are going to take backup of the e-commerce database and one more database and then we will restore it back to uh, our postgresql server so first of all uh, let me show you some utility tools of postgresql uh, let me go to c drive uh, program files then we should go to postgresql server let me find postgresql server here it is so if i enter this we have postgres 16 enter this and then there is a bin folder so you can see a lot of uh, postgresql uh, utility tools here uh, we will not be using uh, all of them but we will use two of them today so the first one that we will use is the uh, pg dump uh, this may be the first one or maybe the second one but we will use this today and another one is psql.exe so we will use these two utility tools today uh, from this path uh, c drive program files postgresql uh, 16 and ben so to go to this path let me open uh, cmd here it is first of all we need to move there uh, so let me write cd c drive go to program files then go to postgresql server go to postgresql server 16 and go to bin folder there so this is the path uh, we need to go there and let me press enter we are now in the bin folder now we can access all those utility tools that are available in this uh, folder so the first one uh, let me use psql first we can use psql uh, to enter uh, the command line tool of postgresql server and write our queries there so i wrote psql now let's write hyphen u for mentioning the user postgres we use postgres username for entering psql now we need to add hyphen w which is used for password it means postgres user has a password and we need to enter our password here so if i press enter it's now asking for the password for the postgres user let me enter the password and press enter now you can see that we have entered the postgres database and we can run all the queries that we ran in the command line tool of postgresql server if i write uh, slash l and press enter it will show all the databases here we have e-commerce hr postgres sales and other things we can use slash c for changing our database so let me uh, write e-commerce e-commerce okay now it's asking a password and now we have entered e-commerce database let me clear the screen and show tables slash d these are the tables and we can run the queries in the same way select star from customer and it, let me limit this to five it will show the result so we can use psql utility tool to go to our postgresql server enter our databases and run our queries from the command line tool or cmd let me quit this by uh, adding uh, by writing backslash q now we are back to our uh, location let me clear the screen from here so now i want to take the backup of e-commerce database and store it in a folder that is in e drive and the folder name is bk so i want to store the backup here what i can do is to write pg underscore dump this is the utility tool for taking backups then i need to mention the database so i need to add a hyphen d for mentioning the database name the database is e-commerce then we need to add this greater than sign and then uh, we need to mention the location and the file name so the location is e drive in e drive we have a folder bk now we need to give a name to the backup file so the backup file will be e-commerce underscore bk you can name it anything but i'm naming it e-commerce backup dot sql remember the sql 
uh, is uh, important here okay we need to mention sql so this greater than sign means that we are getting the backup of e-commerce database and assigning it to this file so let me uh, mention now the username so hyphen u capital u and the user is p o s t g r e s postgres if i press enter it is asking for the password let me write the password and press enter okay it says nothing it means it has successfully uh, taken the backup of e-commerce database and stored it here let's now go to this location and see if this file is there or not let me go to bk and yes it has placed the backup file here if i open this file you will see that uh, this file contains all the queries which are necessary for creating this database and for creating the tables and adding the data you can see that all the data is added to this file now we can restore this backup file to another database so let's go back and let's restore that database to another one let me go to psql hyphen uh, postgres hyphen w for password and let me write the password now we are connected let me create an empty database here create create database e-commerce new because we are uh, restoring a database to this new database so i'm naming it e-commerce new add semicolon press enter and it says that database is created if i add slash l it will show me e-commerce new as the new database let me connect to e-commerce new and see the tables it says did not find any relations it means this is empty database we do not have any tables here let me go back so let me quit this clear the screen now we need to restore uh, that backup file to this new database so for restoring uh, the backup file to a database we use the psql utility tool again so i'm saying psql hyphen d and e-commerce new because we are restoring it to e-commerce new now i need to add less than sign less than sign means that i'm taking the backup from the right side and adding it to the e-commerce new database which is on the left side of this less than sign so we need to uh, mention the location of the file e drive bk folder and the file name is ecommerce underscore bk dot sql so that's it let's add the username hyphen u for username and hyphen w for password if i press enter it is asking for password and now it's restoring the database you can see that it ran the queries very quickly and it added all the data from the backup file to this new database what we can do now is to confirm uh, if we have uh, the backup restored successfully or not so we need to go back to psql hyphen u postgres hyphen w for password now we are connected to our postgres database let's connect to e-commerce new press enter provide the password and it says uh, you are connected to this e-commerce new database let's see the tables there now it has all the tables that were available in the e-commerce backup so let me select data from a table select star from employees for example and limit it to 10 yes we have the data select star from customer limit 5 and we have the data so this is one way of taking backup and restoring it to uh, a new database let's now see how we can take backup in pg admin 4 and restore it back to a new database so let me put this let me go to pg admin 4 start the server so you can see that pg admin 4 is started let me click on servers to start the server provide the password of postgres user click ok we are connected successfully 
we have five database databases there e-commerce e-commerce new that we created uh, through cmd hr uh, postgres and sales now uh, let's take a backup of this sales database this time so let me right click on it and we have this menu open click on backup first of all we need to provide the location and the file name so let me go to uh, the same location and now let's give it a new name for example sales underscore bk save okay it uh, selects the location e drive bk folder sales underscore bk dot sql here we can select the format we have four formats uh, remember that whenever you select a format while taking backup then you need to select the same format while restoring that backup file so i'm selecting custom here and we do not need to change anything else click backup and process started process completed let's now go to bk folder and see if the backup is there yes it's here let me double click this file and you can see that it has uh, some unicode characters and something like that but we do not need to be careful about that just close the file go to pg admin 4 create a new database here for creating a new database you need to click on databases create and database now let, let me close these so let's give a name to this new database that will be sales new so it's postgresql owner let's click save okay sales new is created but if we go to schemas public and go to tables it will be empty we can see that there is nothing so what we can do is to right click on this sales new database and this time click restore so we need to select the same format custom or tar because we selected custom there so we will select custom or tar here let me provide the location and the file name select sales bk.sql click open okay it has selected the file click restore process started and process completed it means uh, the file was restored successfully let me refresh sales new right click click refresh and it has refreshed itself let's now see the tables and we can see all the tables categories customers orders and everything previously it was empty so this is how you can take backup and restore it in pg admin 4 we saw both ways we took backup from the command line uh, tool uh, restored it back to uh, a new database and we did the same thing in the pg admin 4 as well i will provide the links to all these databases in the description of this video you can uh, get any file and restore it to a new database in your postgresql server and practice on that that's it for today thanks for watching